amazing. Because, you know, doing a little reading, I used to play football in high school, and we always used to watch game film. And the, the whole point of the game film was to, to know your opponent, but in this case, I don't really have an opponent. It's more studying to know how to prepare myself to face the challenges that will be the opponent of life. So, in my studying, I, uh, I went to a fairly reliable source, and that source tells me that love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, and is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. So, I feel so fortunate that you've chosen to share your love with me. Someone else in my research said to me that love never dies a natural death. It dies because we don't know how to replenish it. We don't know how to replenish the source that that made that love. It dies of blindness, errors, betrayals. It dies of illness and wounds. It dies of weariness, witherings, and tarnishings. And today, in front of all our friends and family, I vow to do everything in my power to make sure that I continue to keep that source plentiful. <clears throat> to make sure that I will honor you and cherish you, respect you, laugh with you, cry with you. So those of you that know Callan know <laughs> Support you, and most of all, love you. Today I promise to you that I'll be worthy of your trust, worthy of your love, and most of all, worthy of your time. Because I'm not sure if you quite realized or not, but I do get to grow old with you. <laughs> there have been many things in life that I was unsure of. And I want to assure you one thing, that right now is not one of those things. To quote another good friend of mine, Albert Einstein, <clears throat> gravity is certainly not responsible for us falling in love. And every day that I see you with our daughter makes me love you even more. And I love you not only for what you are, but for what I am when I'm with you. And from this day forward until the end of our lives, I'll continue to pursue our love and make sure that it never, ever is not planned. So with this ring, I vow to take you for the rest of the days of our lives. That's my life. Yeah, word for word. <laughs> the way you act like everything is okay two minutes after we get in a fight. You know I need my time and my space. But I do love that you try to make everything right as quickly as possible. There are a lot of things I love about you. But what about the way I love you? Corinthians 13, 4 through 8 says that love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easy to anger, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. With a heavy heart, I stand here before you, unable to make that promise. I'm not always patient, and I'm not always kind. I do envy, I do boast. I can be rude, I can be self-seeking. I'm frequently easy to anger, and I certainly have record of wrong, and I'm sorry for that. <coughs> 
get into that way. <laughs> Titus 2 4 says that women should be taught to love their husband and their children. This is something women can learn to do. Love is not a method. Love is a matter of choice and commitment, not primarily romantic mood. Although I cannot promise you the perfect love of Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. I can promise you that where my love fails, I will turn to our friends, family, and most importantly, Christ, to teach me the way that I should love you and our family. I can promise you that today I'm making a choice and a commitment to love you the very best I can for the rest of our lives. <laughs> Yes, you have to wear it on the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have two questions here. <laughs> We're not finished yet. You know that? And Matt, I'm turning myself to your first. You have decided, after you heard and experienced everything, that you marry this most beautiful woman and have her as you promised her. Thank you. Helen? Almost the same question. You can't hear so much of confession, but one of us the saints. And you have decided to marry this wonderful man, our friend, and of course your husband, right? For that reason, I would like to invite your daughter. Somebody would be so kind to bring and you guys home. Because I would like to bless this wonderful couple. Because without the blessing, it counts nothing. Heavenly Father, Matt and Helen and their daughter, they're standing before you, they're standing before us, and they gave, a, they gave promise to each other in front of all of us about everything they said. Father, what else we can do but pray for these wonderful people? Because a storm will be on the way. A sunny day will be there. A wonderful trees of life. And yet a rocks. And Father, lead and guide this boat across the Atlantic of this world. Temptations, difficulties, and yet beautiful things. Make them the most wonderful parents in the world. The most wonderful father and mother. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. My friends, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Kowalewski. Everybody in. How's that sound? Good? One here? One what?